In this repair video, we're going to be working on an MSI laptop, GS76, that was mailed over to us about three weeks ago. We did a video on that laptop. Let me just refresh your memory. Right there, MSI GS76. It came in for no power. And we wrote in the title, what's wrong? Now, if you recall, we diagnosed the motherboard and came to a conclusion that we have a blown Super I.O. chip. A lot of you watched that video, but if you did not see the video, you can go back, look for MSI GS76. It was posted about three weeks ago. We came across this chip right here, and this one is the Super I.O. chip. We can tell that we have a hole on that chip. You see the hole right here? The chip is blown. Now, I mentioned in that video that we posted three weeks ago, I do not know if by replacing the chip, if that laptop will work, do we have to reprogram it? And if we do have to reprogram it, there are no adapters available to reprogram that chip. This one is the KB95486F2. Now, I mentioned when we did the video that we're not going to take that risk and buy a chip for $49, not knowing if that chip will fix the problem or not. If the customer want to buy it, he want to send it over to us, then we will proceed with the repair and see if that chip will fix the problem. Maybe the chip does not need any reprogramming because the BIOS will reprogram that chip by itself. We do not know if that chip will fix the problem or the board has more underlying issues. We already inspected the board fully and right now there's nothing more I can do other than replace that chip. So the customer mailed over the chip. He most likely bought it from China because the chip is not sold anywhere else and the chip is brand new. Is that chip empty? Is it reprogrammed? Do we need to reprogram it? Is it real? Is it fake? Nobody knows. What we're going to do is solder that chip on the board and hope for the best. This will give you an insight should you come across this issue, if you are a hobbyist or in the same type of business, if that chip will fix the problem or not. The customer knows that if we replace the chip and the laptop does not work, he's going to lose the $49 that he paid for that chip. And there's no guarantee that replacing the chip will fix the problem. We try to be as clear as possible with the customer. And we want the customer to make an informed decision. We do not want any surprises later. Just like anybody that comes in, they ask, what are the chances that you're going to be able to fix my device? We always give a 50-50 chance. Not more, not less. It could be less, it could be more. But we tell the customer 50-50 chance. If it does not get fixed, you will lose the diagnostic fee because we already spent that time to work on your device. If you chose expedited service, you're going to lose that money. If we expedited the service, we worked on your laptop and it ended up being a no fix, then we're going to charge you $95 for expedited service and we're going to charge you for the bench fee, diagnostic fee. How are we as customers sure that you're going to work on this board? Maybe you're going to charge us the bench fee without doing any work. Would I rather get paid $349 to fix that board or get paid $85 or $65 or $95 for the bench fee? We're not in the business so we can make the 80 and 60 and $50. We're in the business to make the big money. So we always do our absolute best to fix whatever we are working on. When we do not see light at the end of the tunnel and it looks like that repair is gonna be a rabbit hole, then we give up on it and we deem it a no fix. Somebody with more time on his hands may attempt to work on it. They may spend two, three, four days working on it, but this is a business. I'm usually very quick at figuring out problems. Sometimes I do take my time if I see light at the end of the tunnel, and if I do not, we deem it a no fix. I do not claim that if I do not fix it, it's no longer fixable. Of course not. Anything in the world is fixable. If you want to dedicate the time, you do not care about practicality. You do not care if that repair is economical or not from a business point of view. Then, of course, anything in the world is fixable. We give every device our 100% effort within the time allocated for that device. And if we're able to fix it, we get paid the big amount. We are two people working on that one device. Big Boss will disassemble the board, the laptop, the device. I work on the motherboard, inspect the front, inspect the back, uh, do the soldering, do the research. 
we have to reassemble that device, you have the overhead, a lot of expenses when you are in business. You'll only know this if you have a business. And we prep the pads by applying leaded solder. We mix it with unleaded so we can lower the melting temperature of the solder balls on the board. And if you notice, I'm not scraping, I'm tapping. You do not want to scrape, you do not want to scratch the board, and you do not want to rip any pads off the board. I'm not using the anti-glare light, and that's why we cannot see a thing. but maybe you'll know the value of the anti-glare light when you compare. Let's turn the anti-glare light on. That's the ring light. You can barely see the pads, and that's the anti-glare light. The magic of the anti-glare light. If you are a hobbyist or in the same type of business and you do not already have an anti-glare light, you can log in to northridgefix.com Add to cart, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. We carry and sell everything from hot air stations, soldering station, thermal camera, power supply, tweezers, original, Inventec, Ampec flux, braid wig, whatever we use on our bench, we carry and sell in our shop for the most part. All items are in stock, unless the item is not in stock. And orders almost always ship out same day. Right now, what we're gonna do is use a braid wig and hot tweezers. A lot of people ask me, what hot tweezers are you using? I'm using the Weller WX2021. I bought that station about eight years ago for $600 or $650. Today, it's $1,500. Price went up more than double. Is it worth it to spend that much money on that station? No, it's not. The soldering station that we carry and sell, the T3B, it does the same thing that my Waller station does. And how much is it? $300, I think, $300 plus dollars. We include two handles, the 115 handle, the 210 handle, and six tips. All that package for a fraction of the cost, and that machine does the same as the Waller, is a steal. Does it have hot tweezers? No. But we are working with several factories right now. We are testing hot tweezers. Once I come to a conclusion that those hot tweezers are good, then I'll announce it and we'll carry and sell it in our shop. I'm testing different hot tweezer tips and we'll see. Sometimes I test equipment and tools for a couple of months before we make up our mind if we want to carry and sell that tool or not. We can also gently go over this with our soldering iron and wick, just gentle as gentle as possible. Just like handling a baby, you do not want to crush his bones. You do not want his neck to lean back. You do not want to grab him the wrong way because he's fragile or she's fragile. So same thing here. Awesome. Now we're going to apply some flux. And we can tell that pin number one is on the bottom right, as I have the board oriented. And just like that. Now what's nice about this board is MSI decided to include a placeholder, and that's a plus. Because you do not see this with Apple, Apple products, and some other factories in the market. But MSI, they do have a placeholder, which is nice. A placeholder always helps. So we're going to press down and just move it left and right. And we can tell that that chip has some friction from the bottom. Now, I'll feel much better if I grab that chip while applying hot air. I do not want that chip to move when applying hot air. We're going to disturb the solder balls, and then we'll have to reboil it, and we don't have a stencil for that chip. And it's really a one-time shot. So let's try to get it right the first time. The chip is $49. All 
right and just like that. Do not breathe, do not talk, do not sneeze. Steady, steady. The chip made a connection and now we have to reflow. Reflow, reflow, start from far until that shape settles and moves in place. We tap it, it pulls back, the job is done. We did an amazing job. Let's wait for the board to cool down. We'll clean it, give it to Big Boss, and hopefully that will solve the problem. If replacing that chip does not fix the problem, we are done. We already went over this board last time. We made the customer aware. If replacing the chip does not fix the problem, it could be a chip issue, problem with the chip. It could be that the chip needs programming, or it could be something else. We cannot go into that rabbit hole other than replacing that chip. The customer is aware of this, and he's aware that if that chip does not fix the problem, He's going to be losing the $49 that he paid for that chip to get it from China. He's going to be losing for the bench fee. And I do not know if the customer opted for expedited, but he's going to be losing that also if that board does not work, plus return shipping. It's expensive, but somebody has to put that work. As long as you are clear with the customer and the customer knows the risks involved, then it's all good. No surprises. All right, so I'm going to hand the board over to Big Boss to reassemble and test, and I'll be back to finish the video, whether it's a fix or a no fix. Let's check up on Big Boss. And honestly, I do not have much hope, 50 50 chance, but we'll see. I think if Big Boss touches that laptop, it has to work. It has to work. I have faith in Big Boss. His hands are like magic. Yes, yes, no, yeah. Oh, I do see the light. Fans are spinning. Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that fixed the problem. Replacing the Super IO chip fixed the problem. No need to reprogram. And the customer did take the risk. He bought the chip for $49, but look at this. Look at this, the customer is going to be very happy and we let him know. Thank you, Big Boss. I told you, when Big Boss touches something, it has to work. Thank you, Big Boss, boss of all bosses. That's it, we're gonna end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think, leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.